my apologies, y'all. This is going to be a second part. Uh, so just to carry on, I, I got cut off for some odd reason. I don't know why. But uh, just to continue, so we have our bounding box set. Again, our bounding box is to let us know that if we're outside of that, that meant, those dimensions right there, we're not correct with our drawing. We went somewhere wrong with our dimensions, okay? So to begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line right here. I'm going to go all the way up. Then I'm going to press F5. I'm going to go all the way to the end. Now I'm going to do 3.25. Uh, I'm going to go 1.5. Okay. I'm going to stop right there. Now, I'm going to hit line again. Change my, uh, my projection view. I'm going to go across 0.75. We'll go up 2.5. Press F5, change my direction. Now, we have to do 250 minus 0.75, which is 1.75, okay? Then we have to find out this gap right here. To easily find out this gap right here, what we do is we add 0.75 together. I'm going to multiply by 2. Subtract it from 3.25. And we got a measurement of 1.75 right here, okay? Now, I'm going to bring this out, uh, 0.75. So this should match up, okay? Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F5 again. I'm going to hit the line right here. I'm going to go back uh, 1.75. And then it should match up with this line right here. I'm going to press F5. And these two should connect. You see how it's forming together? Okay. Now, I'm going to start from this side. I'm going to press F5. And start off from this edge. Go across. I'm going to go up 0.75. Uh, I'm going to go across 2.5. And I'm going to go down. Okay. Now I press F5 again. I'm going to go 2.5. I'm going to go up 1.5. And then I'm going to connect it right there. Okay. Same thing. Uh, but this time we're going 1.75. I'm going to go up 0.75. And then I'm going to connect it right here. Press escape. Create another line across. This should match up. Now, I'm going to press F5. I'm going to get this line going. Now, that is going to be 2.5. Then I'm going to connect it here. Press escape. I'm going to press F5 again. And connect this line right here. Uh, what we have to do is we have to get this final line right here. Now, I'm not going to do it all the way. I'm just going to go right here. It doesn't really matter how far out as long as you get it connected and trim. You see, because you still want that line right there. All right. Now, we have to do our circle. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this construction line. I'm going to copy it upwards to right there. Okay. Now, Press F5. I'm going to move this line 1.25 or our midpoint. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to turn off my object layer properties. Okay. I'm going to press F5. I'm going to copy, press this line. Bring this up, 0.75, press F5, F5 again. I'm going to move this line now. This line is going to be moved over 0.75, okay? I'm going to turn on my object layer property once again. Now, I want to create a circle in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... In the midpoint, 
sorry, let me go over to my construction layer property. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up. Uh, the radius is 0.375. Go over to the right, 0.375. Go down, 0.75. Go across, 0.75. Up 0.75 and connect it right here. Now we don't need these lines anymore. If you want to delete them, by all means, delete them. Right? Uh, you can delete this middle line too. Delete. Right? Um, I'm gonna do join. I'm gonna join these two. Now I'm gonna go over to my center layer property, annotate, center line, right here, these two. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back home, uh, object layer property, I'm gonna go to axis end, get the center point right here, sorry, axis end. ISO circle, center point right here. Now I'm going to click diameter, and that diameter is going to be 0.75, and we should be all set, okay? Uh, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this drawing. I just like to connect it right here. And all we have to do now is just dimension. So to dimension, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our dimension layer property. I'm going to take off ISO draft. I'm going to do my height, width, and depth first. My height is 5. I'm sorry, my width is 5. Uh, my height is 2.5. My depth is also 2.5. Now, what we have to do is we have to get a, a couple more dimensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from right here to right here. Move that right in the middle. After I move that uh, right in the middle, um, I might even just move it right here. Okay. Now we have to get this line right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. I'm going to do that right there. Move it over. Sorry, I'm just moving this a little. Alright, that's not gonna move over. One second. There we go. Okay. After that, uh, I have to do 1.5 right here. So right there, just to show you guys. What else? Uh, I got 0.75. I'm going to do another 0.75 just to be nice. Do one right here. Do one right here. After I do this 0.75, uh, I got my width, I have to do 2.5, right here, uh, are you finally going to try out? Then I have to get my center point for my circles. One point two five. Wait. Well, it used to go into my wits, that's what I want. Then we have to go right here. After I do that, uh I have to get my diameter for my circle. So I'm gonna go over to diameter. 
I'm going to do that right around here. Bring this up a little bit. Sorry, let me turn off my snaps. Excuse me. And that's about it, okay? All right, so this is how it should look. I will see you guys in the next video.